Recycling is all the rage these days, and the challenge is to find creative uses for old stuff. Producer Billy Barnes introduces us to a man who knows all about the fine art of recycling. When's the last time you saw a cigarette vending machine? There's a fellow in Winston-Salem who has 75 of them. What does he do with them? He vends art objects. Art objects the same size as a pack of cigarettes. The chief executive of this outlandish enterprise operates something like Batman. <laughs> Most of the time, he's a mild-mannered graphic artist, massaging images on a computer in his suburban Winston-Salem home. But deep in his basement lair, he pursues his true passion, old cigarette machines and lovely, wacky pieces of miniature art. In North Carolina and many other states, Cigarette machines are illegal in restaurants, bus stations, laundromats, and any other place where teenagers can get to them. Consequently, the machines are practically worthless. To recycle these old anachronisms, Clark Whittington paints and repairs them and replaces the old cigarette advertising with his very own trademarked name, Art Omat. Each machine has its specially designed version of the Art Omat signature. Clark Whittington's first automat machine was installed at a little cafe called Mary's, of course. The machine itself was intended to be a work of art on temporary display. Years later, it's still there. Once the machine was installed, artists started to step forward. Uh, they were real curious in the project. They wanted to be involved, uh, as well as other potential venues wanted to host machine. Now we have over 300 artists. There is little left in this world that's truly different, but Clark Whittington is without question unique among American art dealers. Just ask yourself, what artist in his or her right mind would want to create pieces of work that can't be larger than a pack of cigarettes? Yet, Whittington's basement shipping room is crammed with products from artists in dozens of American states, plus 10 foreign countries. Top-selling pieces include, from Japan, lovely rings made of tiny beads. From Africa, charming bronze castings, this one depicting a soccer goalie. Evocative images from British and American photographers. Whittington's machines sell his own personal creations as well including delightful photographs printed from a pile of mid-20th century negatives discovered at his grandma's house. Each item is packaged in a specially made box and stocked in one of a cigarette machine's 20 slots. Do people actually feed real money into these machines to buy tiny offbeat pieces of art? Our best-selling machine is in the Chicago Cultural Center. In six months, it has sold 1,142 pieces. The machine at the Whitney Museum of American Art is uh, regularly selling 150 to 200 pieces per month. In North Carolina, our most active machine is uh, either Wellspring or Whole Foods in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, or Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art here in Winston-Salem. Whittington agrees that the real secret behind the success of his venture is the creativity and optimism of his artists. Jan Lukens crafts her mini art objects in a tin-roofed cottage on an old farm outside of Winston-Salem. She melts slim glass rods onto a background of flat glass fragments. These can be worn as pins, necklace pendants, or whatever a creative customer may devise. Maurice Knight's day job is zipping groceries past a scanner. After hours, he creates delicate hand-colored flower images. Chuck Russell is an aircraft mechanic who turns cast-off scraps of aluminum into delightful mini-sculptures. 
John Blackburn walks along the railroad tracks collecting what he calls found objects, the leg of an action doll, a fragment of an American Express card. He frames them in shadow boxes and gives them cryptic names. This cluster of glass bits is titled Her Broken Majesty. Don't grin too loudly. These pieces sell quite well in machines installed at art museums. Most automat machines charge $5 per art object. This yields two and a half bucks for the artist. The remaining $2.50 is split between Whittington and the host location. Love the idea. I think, it, I think art should be accessible to the masses, and a lot of it isn't. And this is one way where someone can go and spend $5 and get an original piece of art, which is um, almost unheard of. It's also a great way for artists to promote themselves. Who ever would have thought that one day you'd be able to get something out of a cigarette vending machine that's actually good for your heart?